Hello everybody and welcome to a special Q&A, Minecraft Disney Q&A. This is the series in which people ask me all manner of Disney questions, whether it's about the parks, the movies, the animations, you name it, and I try to give answers to the best of my ability. Today is a special Comic-Con edition of the Q&A. Uh, we've got Mellow Yellow 121 who just asks, talk about Big Hero 6. We have Morphic Immortal who asks, how well do you think the Tomorrowland movie coming in May will do as well uh, as representing the portion of the Magic Kingdom Park? And we have Mr. Matt881 asking, I have a question. What did you think about the Tomorrowland trailer and what do you expect from the movie? Thanks and have a great day. Now, this is a special Comic-Con version of the episode because I got to go to the Big Hero 6 slash Tomorrowland panel at the New York City Comic-Con here uh, in Manhattan. And uh, I have so much to talk about, and I figure this is a great place to talk about it because it's all Disney related. So Christina and I went uh, to Comic-Con. We got into the panel. It was a pretty long panel, actually. It was about an hour and a half, and it was split between Big Hero 6 and Tomorrowland. And so the first thing they had was Big Hero 6. They had a bunch of the cast up there. They had the directors and producers up there. Uh, they showed a lot of actual... They showed... Um, uh, I'd say about five or six scenes from the movie and actually a bunch of people in the theater won free tickets to see it that night I was unfortunately not one of them. Uh, I will say this. I went into that that Panel knowing next to nothing about big hero six. I knew it was the next upcoming movie I knew it was based on a Marvel property. I had seen the the teaser trailer like way back when it came out and I got a few chuckles out of it but beyond that I didn't know much about it I didn't really care I sort of put that stuff off until the movie's about to come out so I don't get overhyped and I can tell you that in those five or six scenes I laughed so hard that I had tears running down my face it was some of the funniest animation I have ever seen and it's great uh, because one question I really, I often get is, uh, do I think Frozen is kicking off a second Disney renaissance? The first Disney renaissance being in the 90s with The Little Mermaid, the Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, all those films. Uh, and it was hard to tell up until, you know, this weekend, I had no idea because it could have been Frozen was a, a, a sort of one-off success and that was sort of it. Wrecked Ralph was okay, but it wasn't amazing. Um, but this movie, oh my gosh, it was so funny. I can't wait to go see it at launch. I think, I don't think it will be as financially successful as Frozen. I think Frozen had a lot of very specific chips fall into place for it to be the, like, runaway success that it was. But, and I think the odds of that happening for Big Hero 6 are pretty low, but I still think it will be critically successful. I think it will still be financially successful. I think um, it'll appeal to more people. I think Frozen, Frozen was great because I think it has a great appeal. It, you know, you had characters like Olaf that appeal to, I think, you know, um, uh, more of a male demographic and then you have Elsa and Anna I think it was a very balanced but I think this is going to be even more balanced I think the characters they introduced are really fantastic and I'm really excited um, great cast really funny scenes uh oh everyone's frozen uh oh oh my gosh it's sort of like a, we're doing a fr freeze in place sort of thing um, a lot of like great child humor a lot of great adult humor in there that's sort of hidden away so i think parents will love it i'm just like super psyched for this movie i was really disappointed i didn't get a pass to go see it because after those few scenes i was so down um i can't wait so that's big hero six really excited um and then after that there was a mini panel on tomorrowland and that was really interesting and that was why i went initially because we knew next to nothing about tomorrowland at that point there was um an announcement, a graphic, we knew George Clooney was involved, we knew Brad Bird was on the project, but that was like literally about it. Uh, now we do have a teaser trailer. I was able to see the teaser trailer uh, at the panel. They had announced that because they hadn't released the, the trailer at that point, we were the first people in the world to see it, which is really awesome. And I actually got to watch about a five minute action sequence from the film. And so I guess to answer one question, what did I think about it? I think it looks really cool. I still am really confused about what it is, so I kind of can't wait to go see it. Uh, that said, um, to go to back to Morphic Immortals' question about how it'll represent the, the part of the park, uh, I wouldn't look at it as that. I don't think it's, it's not about Tomorrowland in Disney World. It is called Tomorrowland. 
uh, in, in the same way that Pirates of the Caribbean were was about pirates, but it wasn't about that ride and the specific story in that ride. This is not about Tomorrowland, the land. Uh, it's so cryptic. I have no idea what to put. To, to, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I saw a teaser trailer in five minutes of the movie, and I still can't really tell you what it's about because it's hard to tell. So the teaser, you know, if you haven't seen it, shows this this young delinquent girl. You know, she's just getting out of jail, and she gets this pin that isn't hers. And whenever she touches it, she's transported to this other dimension or world, and it's this like sort of um, fantastical world with uh, flying things and, and futuristic builds that are very reminiscent of like Walt's uh, ideas of Epcot. But we don't know much about the, about it besides that. Uh, now, from the scene that I got to see, which is an action scene in which you, you see George Clooney's character, who's sort of like a recluse. He's just sort of locked away in his house. And the girl's trying to get answers about this land that she's teleporting to. And he knows the answers. And um, apparently her being there draws the attention of these like sci-fi robot uh almost like FBI agents who start attacking the house. And so the whole action sequence was them getting attacked by these like robot agents. And the house was just littered with like all these super high tech uh, booby traps that are just like out of this world, like lasers and magnet, like crazy magnetic hallways that, you know, grab all the robots. It was really crazy and high tech and awesome. Um, but I don't know why they're chasing her. I don't know why they're chasing him. I don't know why he's so afraid. Like there's so many questions left to be answered. But what I can tell you from what I've seen is that it has like nothing to do with Disney World or Tomorrowland and Disney World or Disneyland. Now that said, that's really weird because what I've heard, and this is interesting, was that the sort of hype men who were on stage before the panel were talking about Tomorrowland, and they were talking about how they were filming in Disney World for this movie. And specifically, they were filming at Carousel of Progress, and they were filming at It's a Small World, which means they were filming about something... Um, World's Fair related. And it's interesting because part of what you got at the panel, besides this really cool Big Hero 6 poster, was this book called Before Tomorrowland. And it has like a preview chapter about the, it's this book that takes place before the movie. Um, and it takes place in the late 40s during the first World's Fair. And now we're hearing that they're filming scenes about the second World's Fair. So, like, clearly. I feel like this film is going to jump around in time between the future and the present and the past. And so there probably will be some references if they were filming at Carousel of Progress and Small World, then there'll definitely be some Disney references, um, some Walt references. But I don't know how much he ties into the plot and how much of the real Tomorrowland ties into the plot of the, the movie Tomorrowland. All I know is I'm really excited and I really love that they're taking this very hush hush approach and they're not talking about it at all and they're not releasing too many details because I think that mystery is what's going to draw on a lot of people and I think if Brad Bird does as well as he's done in the past and I have no reason to think he wouldn't by the way I got to meet him and get his autograph um, then I think that you'll see like a, a franchise come out of this which will be really exciting Anyway, uh, I want to thank all of my Q&A crew here for following me around. If you have a Disney question you'd like answered, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below or let me know on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Rob Plays on Twitter. I'm Rob Plays That Game on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to reach out on email, I'm Rob Plays That Game at gmail.com. Um, whatever you do this week. Uh, make the most of it because it makes it so much better. If you like these videos and you want to see more, I do these a couple of times a week. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll just have your Disney fix delivered directly to your, your little subscribe feed. Uh, anyway, have a great week, everybody. And I will see you next time for the next Minecraft Disney Q&A. Bye, everybody.